Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to day three of 30 Days of Sketches Series 8 and Scrap Timber, uh, organized by the lovely Scrappy Sisters and Laura Alberts. So today I thought I would go a little bit a different route and be a little bit rogue with the sketch and do and adapt it to a six by eight for my fun summer album that I am using the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lemon Twist collection with. Now, originally, my original idea was to follow a little bit my pattern when I do these six by eight pages, and that was to use the sketch for the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side, use my lovely Nicole Jones 911 grid paper, do just a little bit of embellishing and use it for the journaling. But I got carried away with myself and I sort of just brought this over. So I could have in the end used the same pattern paper for both sides and then as I have done, use the grid paper for my journaling. But that was my original intent being um, my sort of standard pattern and way of operating, I had this sheet ready to go. And what decided me to bring it over and to make it a full double page spread with the sketch sort of going on both sides was this lovely doily here because I wanted to use, there's a circular element on the sketch and I really felt like using a doily, but I did not want it to be sort of centered or fully on the page, I wanted part of it. So I really sort of put it down and cut this off. And then um, the other part sort of just fell, you know, it was right there and it was on this side. And I went, oh, why don't I just put it there and then see where I go from there. And then the rest is history. I just somehow continued doing all of the lovely layering of strips because today's prompt is layering. So I went into the gorgeous Simple Vintage Lemon Twist. I got three of my favorite papers, cut some strips in half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch pieces, used both sides of all of those papers, and got my strips down pretty similar to the way they are in the sketch. Now my photos are, my photo is smaller. They, it's sort of a little bit at a different place. I mean, I did take a little bit of artistic license. This side resembles and sticks to the sketch fairly, fairly well. This side, uh, a little bit more artistic license because, but since it wasn't really at first to be uh, the sketch I don't really mind as much and I love it. and I mean these sketches are there for inspiration and mojo like we've said before you can take one element of the sketch you can do the sketch literally you can uh, turn it flip it mirror it stretch it shrink it um, you can just interpret it any way you wish and the same thing for the prompts. So I did layer all my strips here and then I layered a little bit of embellishing on top of the strips of paper as well to get the prompt in. So I just went down. Now, my original idea, again, somehow I think I got interrupted a couple of times while I was doing this this layout. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe mom called or, or um, got a Skype call from my, my Cornwall gang. I can't quite remember, but because I, I really wanted to do some packaging technique, a little bit of mixed media on the background before getting all the strips down. And I, so therefore I went in with some splattering. I used my shimmers. Oh, say, can you see? I used a little bit of eggnoggin and some glorious days. I made a little bit of a mess here, but hey-ho, there you go. 
So I did that as an afterthought. My two photos, and, and these are these are kind of fun because, as I said, I wanted this album to be a little bit of, you know, summer beverages, maybe ice cream, some sundae, some lemon square, everything lemony or citrusy anyway, as well as some fun summer cocktails. So this was, uh, I was getting ready to watch uh, the tennis final here, I believe was, I can't remember whether it was the Cincinnati um, Masters final or the Montreal Toronto Masters finals, but I was getting myself a little cocktail ready that I just made up with some, a little bit of vodka, orange juice, Perrier, uh, and a little pure cranberry to, to do a little bit of a marbly, marbly uh, reddish color in there. And I sort of set up this photo because I really wanted to get this in the album. I had already decided to do the album. So I sort of set up the photo. And as I was just getting ready to do it, lo and behold, Chopin pops up and just had to investigate was what was going on so i really really had to get that shot as well as the actual cocktail and i just did a filter here to sort of um uh just bring in and highlight the the middle of that photo and i thought that was so funny i sent the photo to sarah and um you know we occasionally like to swap cocktail recipes and so i sent her that photo and because she sent me a text saying, you know, it's a cocktail kind of afternoon, isn't it? Late afternoon. And uh, so I sent her that and I said, there you go. Yeah, tennis final. And she said, you have to scrap that. And of course, of course. So Chopin approved is what this is. And then I got the photo of the actual cocktail over here with the recipe. A few stickers, again, from the Lemon Twist collection, of course. And my Simply the Zest gorgeous, gorgeous sequin mix. I got a few packs of those that I can hopefully get and will probably get on every single layout or six by eight spread. So there you go, my friends. There is me for day three of 30 Days of Sketches Series 8, the Scrap Timber Prompt of layering and I will see you back here again tomorrow as will many 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 of my friends links are down below so that you can spread some love around and be inspired to maybe join us hashtag uh, 30 DSCBL8 hashtag scrap timber hashtag scrap timber 2021 or hashtag scrap september all of those will uh help you find some added inspiration and use them so that we can find you if you are playing along see you tomorrow my friends bye for now